that's a big one. I love it. How about that? Big pre-spawn bass moving up. Beefier jigs. Catch them getting ready to move up and start bedding. Doesn't get any better than that right there. I'm gonna get back out there and get me another one. <laughs> we see we got a bunch of cypress trees back here on this flat. Got a good ditch bend behind me. Found some fish located sitting there. They wouldn't really react to the moving baits. What I did was I went to, it's a big half ounce structure jig. And on the back, I've got a Z-Man Helicross. Reason I went to that Helicross is I really like to trim up these jig skirts a little bit, make them more compact but I want them beefy. I want them compact, but beefy, if that makes sense. I don't want a real long skirt, I don't want a really long trailer, but I want it beefed up. I want those big tails and that helicross kicking. I want to give off a lot, of, a lot of action. I want to almost irritate those bass ones down there in their face. These big pre-spawn fish, I believe they're, when this time of year comes around, they're programmed to hate big profile baits, whether it be bluegill, crappie, big gizzard shad, other bass sometimes when they're getting in that mood they don't like that big that big profile so i picked up structure jig half ounce hella crawls in the back of it real beefy bait it's got a real thick body big old paddle flippers on the back of it dragging it around out here on the edge of this ditch on a hard spot these fish like i said are getting ready to jump up here around these cypress trees and start getting their thing on but um we're gonna drag this thing around a little bit more and see what we can't catch There you have it. Right there in the roof of the dead gum mouth. She wasn't coming off. So, like I said, pre-spawn, these fish are just setting up on the edge of this ditch, getting ready to move up on every one of these cypress trees probably and start spawning. I'll throw that bait out there. It's only about six or seven feet up there on the edge of this lip where I'm throwing down, and I'm throwing right down the edge of it. So I'm maximizing my cast Instead of just throwing at the edge and bringing it off that strike zone quick, I'm throwing it right down the strike zone where I feel like they're sitting, set, setting up. But you'll notice when I'm fishing this jig, I'm not dragging it slow. I'm not working it just trying to convince them to bite. I'm trying to make them bite. So you'll notice I'll pop it some, drag it, might pop it twice. But I'm trying to make that fish react, kind of irritate them with that big profile, get in their grill, make them react and you know if they don't react to that right out of the gate i might slow down a little bit but i'm really almost power fishing this jig through these fish i know there's a group there i'm trying to make some react look at that fatty i would have been eating a little bit i'd say Every bit of it. Little chunk. Jig, take the line. Like I said, that one hit it right as soon as I popped it up. And I mean, it was almost like I hit him in the mouth with it. I popped it up and thunk. It was a pure reaction strike for that fish. It's, like I said, it's a jig, but I'm almost power fishing it into the, in these fish's face and trying to make them react to it more than anything. And when I'm stroking it, it's great because it almost makes it glide up and down real nice. And it's got those big flappers on the back that really put out a lot of, a lot of action. But in the winter, I can also drag with this trailer and it still puts a good amount, a lot of action on the back end of it and beefs up my jig. Like I said, I like throwing more of a finesse jig in the winter and that one will beef up a finesse jig. Here we go. Look at that one right there. Popped it up and I hit something. Rolled over the rolled over the back side of it and he lit that thing up. But um, but as I was saying, that helicross has such big flappers on the back end of it. It helps to glide that bait when I'm when I'm stroking it, but also if you're just dragging it, it still puts off a ton of action, but not too much. You know, it's not hanging way back there behind the bait. 
Like I said, that body's big enough to where it beefs up that bait for me, but doesn't go too much. It doesn't make it a big bait, it just beefs it up. And then in certain instances, when I get them really fired up, I'll let that bait hit the bottom, and I'll even like really put some heat behind it when I stroke it. I mean, that thing will be three feet up in the water column on them, really trying to make them fire. Do it a couple times here, just to see if I'm getting them, getting them going in that direction. And you know, you'll, you'll kind of have to experiment with your cadence. Today, I'm catching them hopping that thing, but if they get really fired up, I'll go to stroking it more so. And if that was really cold and they got really sluggish, I'll just slow down and start slow dragging it. But for right now, for me, in this moment, those slight pops, like I said, kind of trying to irritate it, get, get irritate them, get it in the grill, kind of make them mad at it, so to speak. <laughs> He didn't like it popping in his face. Waiting on one of them to be an old eight pounder. As far as setup goes for, for stroking this jig around and dragging it just in general, throwing 16 pound fluorocarbon, got that to a 7.3 medium heavy casting rod, seven or an eight to one uh, dial wazillion that I throw on here. The reason I say seven or eight, some people prefer a seven. In my mind, when I'm hitting these fish like this on this little bit heavier line, there's not a ton of give when you, when you hit them. And I want that extra torque of a seven. Some people, and sometimes I've found myself wanting this too, I'll go to an eight gear ratio. And that's if I'm really, really stroking it and those fish are hitting it hard and I've got to pick up a lot of line to lean into them. But these fish just light popping it like this, light hops. I'm not having to pick up near as much line when I go to catch up to them and set the hook. So I like that seven, take advantage of that little extra torque in it. And uh, you know, but if, like I said, if I was really stroking it and making those big giant hops with it, I'd probably go to an eight just to pick up more line and be a little bit more efficient. <laughs> Big old pre-spawner right there. Can't wait to move up. Man, what a pretty fish. See that one, that fish there actually hit that bait on the fall. And normally when you get them thumping it on the fall like that, not just picking it up when it hits the bottom, I mean hitting it hard on the fall, that's a good indication for me that that popping or even stroking it might be the, the way to go as far as your retrieve and cadence on the way back. That's a bad shad color is what they call that. That jig's got a little bit of blue. I'm trying to mimic the bluegill. The bluegill are, are the main forwards in this lake we're in. Uh, if it's dirty, cold water, black and blue is always a staple. And even at times I'll, I'll mix it up if I really feel like they're keying in on shad and I'll throw a white one or a shad, a shad color jig with a white uh, helicrawls in the back of it to, uh, to trigger those shad eaters. Just look at, you know, it's one of those deals you can just look at your maps, look at your contour lines. You got a little channel swing coming up to a flat spawning area. Uh, you know, the channel swings in the flat pockets. That's where those fish are gonna be staging up to move up and when they move back out. That's the goes for pre-spawn and post-spawn. Everybody's talking about they're spawning, they're spawning. You can go up there and sight fish. There's gonna be fish on these staging grounds because you're never gonna get all of them in one wave. There's gonna, if there's fish on beds, there's fish out here pre and post-spawn more than likely on these type of deals. It's more or less, more or less just a springtime staging spot for them for the whole period of the springtime. 